My name is Scott. This is a hemiola exercise from Mel Velasquez. Hey Scott, um, I just want to give you some feedback on the latest video you submitted, which was you were playing some jazz. Um, uh, I thought your time was great, so keep that going. Um, one thing that I noticed is as you moved around the kit, um, you sometimes the hi hat would stop. So you want to keep that hi hat always going on the two and the four. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was that when you're playing in uh, a swing feel, or in any feel, you want to relate to the subdivision of the, of the style that you're playing. So swing is a triplet style. So you always want the quarter note to be um, your point of reference for time, but then you're breaking that down into triplets. So one da da, two da da, three da da, four da da. So it's even okay to count. I would encourage you to count when you're playing and then sort of magically, all the stuff you play will start to fall in to, to that feel. Um, I noticed you were moving around the kit with some single strokes. That may, I don't know exactly what the exercise Al gave you, but um, I thought that you could maybe get around the kit with a little more ease if you did some doubles on your left. So let me just play both ways and I'll show you the difference. So I try to get around the kit more economically uh, as possible um, when I can. Um, sometimes you might not want to because you're going for a different sound or you're trying to get somewhere else on the kit. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, because I think what you're doing, learning jazz is great, um, just trying to mix up styles, is to recommend you the book Advanced Techniques for the Modern Drummer because that's sort of like the classic uh, jazz and bebop drumming book. It'll give you a lot of good exercises and it starts simple and then it builds up. Um, but you're doing great and keep it up.